Hello, and welcome back to the Chicago movie scene. I'm your host, Chad Meyer, and tonight we've got a fascinating show for you. We're going to take a step back behind the camera tonight and uh, talk to a couple of accomplished film directors and a very accomplished director of photography. I'm lucky enough to be joined tonight by Armando Ballesteros, who lives and works in Los Angeles and is back here in Chicago for the holidays, Alexander Rojas, and Luis Alberto Perez. Thanks for joining us. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You betcha. Armando, why don't you uh, tell our audience how you guys all know each other? Um, well, I've met Alexander uh, in undergrad um, at Columbia College, Chicago. I was kind of uh, on my way out towards, you know, my latter years of my of undergrad studies. And uh, we actually met in a class. No, actually, we met at work. We used to work together, but we, we didn't know each other at Columbia. Mm -hmm. And then we had a class together. Um, and then he knew that I was a cinematographer, and he passed me a script. And How many like, years ago was this? Wow, this was mm -hmm. two, five, six, six, six years six, ago? About six about years. About like six years ago. Yeah. Um, and then we did our first of many collaborations in that year, uh, 2000, 2001. Okay. Yeah. And then through that, actually it was on that same shoot that I met Lewis. Um, Lewis was running sound on that. And, uh, and then, yeah, then okay. that's just, we've moved on since then. And, and so you all three went to Columbia then? And yes. knew each other there? Yeah, okay. that's yeah. where, I, I met Lewis at, in a tech class. Okay. And we just we became partners on a project and worked helped each other out on our our uh, film projects you know, at school and okay. from there we just started collaborating on other projects outside of school. And you guys have been out of school how long now? Um, me my, myself I actually just graduated this spring because I took okay. two years off from Columbia. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been out for almost four years, but I'm going back to grad school. Get a master's? You get my master's okay. in writing. Okay. Armando, yeah. how long have you been in L.A. now? Yeah. Um, well, in L.A., three and a half years. I graduated from Columbia in 2001, uh, started working, and then went back to grad school out in L.A. in the fall of 2003. Um, and then I since, you know, graduated in the summer of 2005. So, and I've just ended up just staying out there okay. and coming back to Chicago occasionally for uh, jobs and mm -hmm. gigs. People wanted me to shoot. I still know a lot of people here and they'll call me and fly me out. And oh, nice. That, yeah. That so you really kind of work in both places then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Try, great. yeah, yeah. Well worth Try. it. Well worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, you use the term cinema f cinematographer. Right. For our audience, what does that mean exactly? Well, the cinematographer is basically the lighting cameraman uh, of, of a film set, uh, commercial, music video, anything really that's shot. Um, I'm in charge of the visual aspect of the storytelling. So anything that makes it on the screen or in front of the camera, I'm basically in charge of that, whether it's lighting, the composition, camera movement, color to a certain extent. And I work with the production designer who helps make the sets and decides what goes in and what doesn't. And all that, that's kind of falls under in my department. Okay, and wh what is the relationship like then between the cinematographer and the director in terms of those decision makings? Because I, I think a lot of people probably assume that the director has this vision and, and he's telling the camera people and the lighting people what to do, but is that not necessarily the case? Yeah, I mean, that could be the case. Um, I guess it depends on uh, the type of working relationship you have. Um, on, on a film set, and like most collaborative arts, there has to be a trust factor. Um, and if it's not there, then the director, who I basically, you know, have to you know, respond to can be like, well, I don't want to do this. And I'm like, well, okay. So the director is in charge. Director is in okay. charge. Yes, okay. absolutely. The director is in charge. I'm there to help them get their vision across. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I also have to be, um, 
I have to be, for me, I have to be treated a story. Even if I feel that the director isn't, I have to be like, well, you know, pose questions um, and alternate solutions for problems that we might have. Um, and then the, in that sort of realm, like we work together and they're like, well, we should, let's try to do these type of shots or let's shoot it, you know, this way. And then I'll be like, okay, but why? You know, maybe what if we did it this way? Would that, would that serve the story more? And so on and so on. Yeah, it's a, it's a collaboration. Um, at least with working with Armando, um, we've, you know, I go and I, I tell him, I have this idea of what, how I'd like to do this. And, I, you know, I ask for his opinion because I trust him and I know he'd be honest with me. And, mm -hmm. and you'll, I'll know whether it's, you know, he'll tell me how we can do it and how possible, the possibility of it actually working. And so we can test it out. Um, or there's times when we're on set and he'll come up with an idea for a shot and you know, we'll do it and later you know, when I'm editing, it's, oh, that's a great idea. It worked, it, gets, it gives us coverage, it gives us mm -hmm. a good cutaway. It, you know, it helps out. So you're, you're collaborating in pre-production and during production on, you know, uh, on figuring out the visual aspect of this film and, and how to approach it. Um, and that's, we've, we've done a few projects like that. I mean, we've collaborated on a few films, so it's, each one has, has been a bit different, but for the most part, it's, like you said, it's trust. And when you have that, then each project can get uh, tougher, but at the same time, you, you know you can trust this person. And then ultimately, with, with your cinematographer or your production designer or, um, you know, anyone that you're working with on set, it's, you have to have that trust that they're so gonna deliver that to you. So there's really a benefit to working with the same people over and over yeah. as you build it, up that trust. The cinematographer is like a director's best friend because you have to really trust them and help them tell their story. You're both working for the same goal to, uh, to produce this film that's going to, you know, you have the, the vision that you saw and then working close with the direct uh, cinematographer, he helps you and ultimately get, accomplish that goal. So like it, it does become that whole trust issue, and they, uh, can you work with them? Mm -hmm. And you know that's why a lot of directors go through a lot of cinematographers, but then eventually they stick with one that helps them. Like overall, they can just trust. Like if I tell him to do this shot, I don't have to worry about is he going to do a certain way. I can trust no matter what he does, he's going to accomplish what I want to do. Like my vision, how I right. saw the film. So is that what 